going to create silver bromide in the laboratory. Now, if you separate the word silver bromide, it's focused on silver being positively charged, bromine, bromide, or bromine as an ion negatively charged. Now, silver bromide, AGBR, is a soft, pale, yellow, water-insoluble salt well known for its sensitivity to light. So it's not soluble in water, silver bromide. This property has allowed silver halides to become the basis of modern photographic materials. This compound can be formed by the reaction of sodium bromide plus silver nitrate. Now, as ions, we have sodium inside of a flask, bromine, negatively charged, silver is present, positively charged, and NO3, which is the nitrate ion, negatively charged. Now, these ions, they bond. Sodium bonds with nitrate, produces sodium nitrate as one of the products. The silver bonds with the bromine ion, and this is a molecule of silver bromide, AGBR. Let's head to the laboratory and let's create silver bromide. To create silver bromide, let's first get a flask and fill it up with 100 milliliters of water. We're going to add silver nitrate to the water. This is going to create an aqueous solution of silver nitrate. I am now going to swirl the flask around. This is going to help dissolve the silver nitrate into the water. We should have a solution containing silver ions, okay, along with the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Now to the solution of silver nitrate, I'm going to add sodium bromide now an immediate chemical reaction has taken place here I'm going to swirl the solution around now silver bromide is yellowish in color it's a pale yellow as you can see the solution is pale yellow now I'm going to allow the solution to settle Allow all the precipitate to go to the bottom of the flask. As you can see, if you look very closely, you can see precipitate of the silver bromide in the flask. should be near the bottom. What you're seeing here is the silver bromide precipitate. I'm going to filter out the solution. I'm going to collect the silver bromide and place it in this evaporation disk. What you see here is the precipitate of the silver bromide that came out of the solution. Now, silver bromide is actually more light sensitive than silver chloride. So it's better to use silver bromide over silver chloride. I have demonstrated how to create silver bromide in the laboratory. And as always, thanks for watching.